One of the tasks most successfully accomplished was the manufacture of tail units for aerial torpedoes. These tail units, made up of a multiplicity of little bits of wood, each of the utmost importance to the whole construction, were the things which kept aerial torpedoes on a level keel and straight on their course once they had been launched by their carrier planes. When fitted with one of these tail pieces, the torpedo, instead of nose diving into the sea, as would normally be the case, reached the surface of the water in a horizontal position and proceeded towards its target without deflection from the original aim. The advantage lay in the fact that a torpedo thus fitted could be launched accurately from a much greater height than would be the case where the necessity to engage the enemy ship at close range would possibly mean the loss of our plane. The manufacture of these tailpieces involved an enormous number of processes. The cutting of myriad bits of wood, planing, gluing, covering, painting, all done with the highest degree of accuracy to ensure the proper balance and performance of the finished article. In all these delicate operations, the skillful, sensitive fingers of a host of women workers proved an enormous asset. They all toiled long hours at their individual jobs with a tireless good cheer that was quite tonic in its effect. It's impossible in this short record of the war jobs done in the Southern Railway shops to outline every process through which these aerial torpedo tail units had to pass before they reached the testing stage. The striking fact is that the work was done by our employees in an entirely satisfactory manner. These tail units were difficult things to make, and in addition to the woodwork of the body, there was the business of fitting cylinders, gyroscopes, and goodness knows what else, to enable them to fulfill their purpose. Although these pictures reveal that the girls did most of the work on the aerial torpedo tailpieces, it was left to the inspector to examine them and make a final checkup. There is no record of any complaint from him regarding faulty workmanship.